Hey, this is Dave from Not So Ancient Chinese Secrets and DQ Studios, and I'm wanting to share with you my favorite AA battery chargers. Now, I'm here in our charging and gear cave for DQ Studios. I'm a professional photographer and I shoot with a lot of light. And so we go through a lot of AA batteries. So over the years, I've collected a lot of chargers and some better than others, some very expensive, designed and created in Germany, um, but you know, still not the best. Kind of bulky, this thing is bigger than my head. Okay, that's kind of strange. But I've also come across some newer ones that I really love and not one is gonna be perfect perfect for everybody. So I've got three different chargers that I recommend and I'm going to put links in the comments. If you really can't wait for those like me who need a lot of batteries, get this titanium 16 charger, 16 battery charger. For those who don't want that many but just want some a really simple charger, get this little Panasonic charger. And for those who are neurotic and want to control every aspect of the charge, uh, get the lacrosse. All right. Now, on to my favorite, favorite battery charger. It's going to be this guy right here. And why, Dave, is this your favorite? Well, it's got 16 independent slots and you don't, you can charge any number up to 16 from 1 to 16. Each one has an individual LCD readout that tells you what percentage they have for capacity. It's also a smart charger. All of these are. So it's got what they call a negative delta V voltage charging termination. And so that's a good thing that you want to have in your charger. And it also has like fail safes for timer and thermal protection, blah, blah, blah. But I've been so geeky as to use a yeah, thermometer to make sure that these aren't overheating my batteries. So these have actually been quite cool even when they're charging. Why is this one my veriest favoritist one? Well, the first thing, I, I should go over some cons first. And this is not the fastest AA charger that you can get. It uh, charges at a rate of 400 milliamps and so it takes a good seven hours ish to fill up my favorite batteries the emulope pros and that's actually not only a con it's also a pro so the reason why it's a pro is that you're not going to burn out your batteries and reduce this number of cycles that they can be recharged because they're overheating them all right so that's one of the reasons why these didn't overheat because it's got a fairly low rate of charge so i like that another thing that i really like is the slim profile like i mentioned before and the single prong so it makes it really easy to travel with instead of four of these bricks and a whole bunch of outlets i can use one outlet and charge 16 batteries at once i love it now What's my recommendation? Now, this I recommend for those like me who have a lot of AA batteries to recharge. Now, another super tip that I do want to recommend is putting them in these really cheap plastic um, racks when you're charging. Not only does that keep it organized, but I've had batteries literally um, and the charger blow up on me. And they were actually a Maha charger with PowerX batteries, so they were reputable names, but I don't know what happened. But there was literally acid spewing out of this thing and it melted the plastic. I'd rather it melt the plastic than burn down my house, all right? So it smelled really awful, by the way. All right. So keep it in this little tray, drill holes in the back you know, keep the wiring nice and neat. And then you've got a self-contained um, charging station right here. If you take a look at this one, I've got multiple bays and a whole bunch of batteries charging all at one time. Now, if you don't need so many batteries charged and you just have like, let's say more modest needs, this Panasonic is a great way to go. And in the links, I'll have one that includes any little pro batteries, which are my favorite battery. All right. Now this one, also does not kill the battery. It's not the fastest charger, but it is good to your batteries and is stupid easy. You just plug it in, wait for the lights go and you're done. Now, for those who are really geeky like me, or maybe you need to refresh some old batteries or you just like to know the details, then the Lacrosse is the way to go. This is a PC 900, but you can get the 1000 or the 700 of links below as well. And the, the thing is it requires multiple button pushing to get the charge right. Um, Typically, you want to charge about the 500 milliamp range-ish or below, and this one defaults to 200 milliamps on a AA battery, so that's pretty low. It takes a long time. So you, when you plug in the batteries, you've still got to press a button before it reaches the optimal battery charging time for your AA batteries. So it's a bit fussy, but it does it has been able to bring back life into some batteries that I thought were long gone, all right? But they are fussy, a lot more expensive, and they have this huge wall wart that comes with it, which I'm not a fan of. So there you have it, my three favorite chargers. Now, I will have links in the comment section and we've got a whole bunch of more charging and travel tips on the blog. So thanks for watching. Happy charging. God bless.